Hello DVC Musers, it's Andrew Palmer here from somebody'shero.co.uk and of course Elegant Marketplace and LayoutsCloud.com I thought I'd give you a quick tutorial on how to upgrade Divi and also how to upgrade WordPress 5. People have been scared of doing this and frankly there's nothing to be scared of. It's all part of our web development journey. So let's go to it. The first thing we need to do, obviously, is log in. I'm already logged in, so let's just go to the dashboard. And we'll see that there's a couple of plugins to update. There's the WordPress 5 update there. And if we click on the little link where it says 6, that shows you how many updates you've got. I've already got the classic editor plugin uh, plugged in, and it's asking for an upgrade. But before I do that, I'm going to select all and upgrade all uh, the themes there including 2015 2017 and 2016. now the reason i keep other themes on there is just in case divi breaks which sometimes it does i need to test that it's not wordpress and it's actually divi so i will swap to a 2015 or a 2016 theme and just check that everything's all right there now obviously i've done a backup and the best way to do that, in my view, is to use all-in-one migration. If you're a single developer and you've only got one site, so if you're a photographer or a DIY website person, then use all-in-one migration. You can save that to Dropbox or you can save it to your own computer. If you're a professional web developer, then the only answer, in my view, is Blog Vault. And that is, of course, my opinion. Anyway, back to the task at hand. Let's update the themes. So you can see with the wonder of video editing, that happened really quickly. So the themes are updated now. Let's go and have a look at the rest of the plugin updates that we need to do. So I'm going to update the Classic Editor. There's a reason I installed the Classic Editor, which I'll get to in a moment. Now it's time to update WordPress. So all you do is you go back to Updates, and you hit Update Now. And you'll see the screen welcoming you to the new editor, which is Gutenberg. And if you haven't heard of it by now, where have you been? It's uh, basically Matt Mullenweg's attempt to take over the page builder market, as far as I can see. And again, that's my opinion. But it's definitely uh, something that you should learn if you want to or not. And for the moment, we're using the classic editor. So it shouldn't affect the way our site presents itself. So let's go and have a look at that. And there you are. It's exactly the same. It's exactly as it should be. Now, obviously, this particular site is a very simple site. It hasn't got any custom post types or anything like that. So, effectively, we've updated to WordPress 5. We've got the latest version of Divi. And everything has gone swimmingly. Do leave some comments if you've had any issues. So, it helps every user that's using Divi and WordPress. And I look forward to speaking to you soon.